Hello everyone and welcome back to Trader Gainer. It's amazing to have you on this channel once again. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and turn the notification bell on. If you have any questions whatsoever throughout the whole video, make sure you put them in the comment section down below and we'll try to respond as quick as possible. In today's video, we're going to be speaking about proof of staking and what is staking. That's basically earning passive income. But if you want to find out more, stay tuned to find out. What a transition that was, wouldn't you say so? If you're enjoying it so far, make sure you smash the button and let's get straight into it. What is proof of stake? Everybody want to know and how you can take advantage of it and actually earn some passive income. Let's get into it. Well, the first thing you need to know of proof of stake is that it's actually mining. That's what it's called. And there's also proof of work. So these two are totally separate things. And that's how cryptocurrencies work. That's how they make transactions from A to B. And you'll get to find out more about it right now. Proof of stake is basically validating all of those transactions that you're doing from A to B. And people who are validating those transactions and they're staking that specific coin are getting rewards for it. And basically, you earn more by having more of that specific coin. Let me give you an example. So if you want to transfer one Bitcoin from A to B, you need someone in between who's going to make all of those thousand transactions and it's going to solve all of those algorithms, create those hash codes and so on. But that requires for you to actually have Bitcoins and that is basically proof of stake. The more you have stake, the more you provide as liquidity, the more you can actually farm with your computer, the more you're going to make. But on the opposite side, proof of work is something that actually is down to how many and how much power actually you're inputting into the transaction. Meaning you have more computers, doesn't matter whether you have Bitcoin, you will gain more because you're solving the issue much quicker. But that's a totally separate video. So if you want to check that out, make sure you put it in the comment section down below. We haven't put it yet out the video. So if you want to see it, put it and we're going to make it for you guys. A lot of people use, you know, proof of stake in regards to proof of work because proof of stake is known, you know, to be one of the most secure ways, at least in the beginning, and it provides liquidity as well. And one of those was, let me tell you guys, Bitcoin and actually still is Bitcoin, but they're thinking of putting it into Ethereum 2, that it's going to be becoming from proof of work to proof of stake. And that is actually super important because what does that mean? People will have to hold Ethereum. And because of the recent update of the London one, it's called the London update. It allows Ethereum to gain massive values out of nowhere because it's cutting down on its supply. And when something becomes scarce, it's going to increase in value and so on and so on. So proof of stake is supposedly just the better version of proof of work or proof of stake, basically a different kind of mining, or at least that's what we consider the better version. And it's considered to be much less riskier for the people who actually mine. And that's something to bear in mind, because if you are mining that specific currency and you're going to get more and more, and because you've already staked, there's tons of liquidity to provide if the crash actually is to happen. And because you have a lot of liquidity, it's going to buy out all those sell orders if the price is to tank. Just something to bear in mind and it's less riskier because you're gonna have it. I'm super, super happy that you made it thus so far. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash the like button and check all of the links in the description down below because guess what? If you use them, you're gonna get discounts and who doesn't like discount? I can tell you I love discounts. <laughs> if you have any questions whatsoever, make sure you put them in the comment section down below. Make sure you subscribe, turn that notification bell on and hit the like button. No, don't just hit it. Smash the like button if you really enjoyed it. And you made it all the way up until the end, which means for us, we count you as being an amazing person. It's been amazing. Once again, and see you guys.